Hello, everyone, and welcome to Podcast Nine and Three Quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half Blood Princess. Today's video, I'm going to talk about how Neville gets credit in the movies for some of the things that Dobby does in the books. But before I get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, we see Neville Longbottom giving Harry the gillyweed that helps him to be able to breathe in the underwater competition in the Triwizard Tournament. However, in the book, Dobby is the one who procures the gillyweed for Harry. The change makes sense because Dobby isn't in the fourth film, and Neville's herbology skills make it very likely that it could have happened that way. This happens again in The Order of the Phoenix, another film that Dobby is not in. When Dumbledore's army needs a place to practice their spells, in the books, it's Dobby who gives them the idea of using the Room of Requirement. But just like in Goblet of Fire, it's Neville who is given credit for this. These changes aren't huge, but I do love Dobby and wish he could have been a more bigger part of the movies. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.